Hey guys, so I have here this almost 50 year old outlet and whenever I'm trying to use it here, for example, to charge my phone, then here my charging cube just falls out. It's like it's not holding in there in any of the two uh, outlets here. And that happens because the springs that are in the outlets are supposed to hold the uh, plugs in there securely. They just wear out over time. So 50 years later, this is just not going to hold on anymore and uh, your plugs are going to fall out really easily. So in this video we want to replace this outlet with a new one and there's a lot of regulations on how to do this correctly and safely. So we really want to make sure that we do this right. So the first thing we do is to take a look at our breaker box and that's for two reasons. First we have to turn off the circuit so that we don't get electrocuted while we do this and we also want to find out what kind of circuit this is. So in this case you see the 15 on the breaker so that means we are looking at a 15 amp circuit. And that means that I do have to replace the old outlet with a new 15 amp outlet. So we don't want to make a mistake here and take a 20 amp outlet. Okay, so now I made sure that the circuit to this outlet is turned off and I double checked by just plugging in a lamp and see if it still works. Okay, so then the first step here is now to take the cover off. There in this case, there's a single screw in the center. And then now we have the outlet already open and there's two more screws that we need to remove. So one on the top and one on the very bottom. And then we can carefully pull out the outlet here out of the box. And now we see here two black wires and two white wires being connected to the old outlet. In this case, this means that the power comes in with one pair of the black and white wires and the second pair continues to go on to another outlet. In case this was a switched outlet, then that would be a different story. So now we do have the four wires here, but I'm actually missing a fifth one, and that is the ground wire that's supposed to be connected to this green screw here on the bottom. So I don't know 50 years ago what the code was saying, if that wasn't required, or if just grounding the outlet was okay through this metal box that it is screwed into. But I believe at least nowadays the outlets are supposed to be grounded themselves. So I'm going to have to make some new adjustments here when we're going to put in the new outlet. So at this point it is time to remove the old outlet and you can see that the wires are just stuck into the back side of the outlet in order to get those out there's always like a small hole or like slot uh, that you have to push like a for example a screwdriver into and that releases like a kind of spring that holds the wires in place. So by just wedging my screwdriver into the slot here now I can uh, relatively forcefully remove the wire from the outlet. Alternatively, many outlets also use screws to hold the wires in place. I find that method way more easy to remove the wires from. Okay, so now let's have a look at the new outlet. And if we turn this around on the back side, we do have two options on how to wire this up. So first we have the holes like we have seen in the old outlet, where we just stick in the wires. And then on the sides we also have the screws here that we can use alternatively. Okay, so now in this case we are going to use the holes just like the old outlet since it's easier for me at this point. We just have to make sure that we strip off just enough insulation on the wires. And in order to do that correctly you will find a strip gauge here on the back side. See this little uh, arrow there? That's uh, how much of the insulation you're supposed to remove here from each of the wires. And I'm going to check this here with the old wires. And luckily most of them are already correct. So see here the first one is exactly right. And then if I check the next one, then this one appears to be a little bit too long. So uh, I have to shorten this actually. So I have to cut a little bit of the wire off. And once I've checked all four of them, now I can connect them to the new outlet. I just have to make sure that I wire these correctly. So you see here on the one side where the bronze screws are, that's the hot side. There's also some writing on the on the black part that says hot and then here are the uh, silver screws. Those are for the neutral side, uh, which you also find here uh, written down here. So uh, what does that mean? So the hot side is always the black wires. So you want to connect those to the bronze side and then the white wires go to the neutral. So I definitely don't want to do this wrong. This is really important that I do this part correctly. Here the white, the neutral wire goes to the neutral side on the outlet with the silver screw on it. So do this with both, both wires. 
and then the uh, black wires go to the hot side that's the Bronx colored screws so since I'm not going to use the four screws to uh, connect the wires uh, we have to do something with those so instead of just leaving the screws sticking out like that I'm just going to drive those in as far as they go I'm going to do this on both sides and that will make sure that we don't get a short eventually at some point and eventually even get a fire so now the fifth screw here on the very bottom this greenish screw that's the ground screw so that's the last one we have to take care of since the original outlet was not directly connected to the ground wire now I have to add this here and you see the ground wire that's the one that doesn't have any insulation around it so you see here the bare copper wire that is the ground wire and we're going to uh, I'm going to use a little pigtail that I connect to this here so I have something to uh, go to the outlet so here I have this pigtail I'm going to uh, wrap this around the uh, existing connection here so I'm just going right into this little thread here that's in there and then I have here this uh, special green grounding nut so I'm going to uh, put this around here I'm going to tighten this so that this is, not, this is never going to come loose and then the opposite end I'm going to connect of course here to the outlet and there's just a few details here that I want to consider so uh, when you want to wrap this copper wire around here this is a 14 gauge wire we have to consider the direction that we turn the screw here so we're going to turn the screw clockwise and that means we want to wrap the uh, ground wire here also clockwise around the screw so see I'm taking here my needle nose I'm twisting the end here clockwise so like a little u-bend and then I'm fiddling this around the grounding nut and now what happens here if I when I uh, tighten the screw you can see how the wire is going to tighten itself around the screw so you see I just had a had an u-bend here and when we uh, tighten the nut here you see it now we're at the very end you see that the wire is going to twist itself around all the way around here the screw as you see here this is the right way to do this I always want to go clockwise uh, around the screws okay so now I uh, can finally push everything back into the box here I'm going to make sure that there's no kinks in the wires and everything goes in smoothly before I even uh, put the screws in in case I have to use too much force to get the outlet into the box then uh, something is wrong there and I shouldn't just try to force it in by screwing it in so I always make sure the outlet goes in uh, easily at first and then once that is possible then I'm going to uh, uh, tighten those two screws here on the top and on the bottom and I'm switching back and forth between the top and the bottom so that they go in uh, evenly and I keep doing this until those uh, metal wings that you see on the top and on the bottom until those are kind of flush with the wall with the drywall so now once this is done then we can install the plate again of course the old one doesn't work since uh, I decided to go with a different style of outlet so you got here a new cover and the cover just goes on really easily there's just two screws here when you uh, put those on when you tighten the screws don't go too hard on them don't tighten them too much because otherwise the covers may break so those are really fragile you just want to make sure that the covers hold in place and they don't fall off and there's no gap to the wall just like this here okay so and once we're done then it's time for the functional test turn the power back on make sure everything works all right and now I can use this new outlet without being afraid that the plugs fall out constantly okay so that was it for this video if you have any more questions or comments then leave a message below mm -hmm.